Yeah. I think we can jump to your okay. multiple choice. Let's. Are we going to jump to multiple choice? Yes. So, let's see. So we've got, we've we've posted a series of multiple choice questions, and we're looking at um, the analysis. So I'm going to refresh this very quickly and see where the trends. Are. So we can see there's lots of you that are getting most of them correct. Um, here, if we look at this question, lots of you are getting this. So 25% of them seem to have got this correct. So I'm going to tap onto this question. I'm going to view the question for you very quickly. Okay, so the following diagram shows a molecule of DNA prior to the application in the solid line diagram. Okay, so here it shows you possible answers. So I'm going to very quickly I'm going to try and represent that very same question down here to get, uh, let me see. They go down, extend the page, extend the page, extend the page, extend the page. So I'm going to use color to answer that question. So here we've got DNA. That's got that. And at the end of replication, what happens at the end of replication, guys? So this has got to do with the semi-conservative model of replication. At the end of replication, what do we have? How many molecules of DNA? We would have two molecules of DNA. Each molecule of DNA will essentially contain new DNA and <coughs> old DNA. Yeah. So this splits up and it separates. Remember, it unwinds on the fork at the DNA replication fork, and they split up. Each strand then produces its complementary strand of DNA. OK. So at the end, you're going to find that DNA, the original DNA is in pink, and the new DNA is in yellow. So each strand has half old DNA, half new DNA. And we refer to this model as the semi-conservative model of replication, where they, the strands that are produced have old DNA and new DNA. So rem looking at this, so that is what the original DNA is during, that's the original, sorry. Let me try and move this. I'm trying to do something. OK, nope. Let's go up a bit. Let's go down, 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 down. OK, here we are. So at the end of DNA replication, you have the old strand and the new strand. So let's look at this question. So when we looked at this here, that's the original DNA. I've added color to this. Here it's a solid line. What's the possible result of DNA replication at the end? You guys looking at this question, which would be the correct answer? C. C. Why do you say that? Because when you look at C, you can clearly see that the original DNA is a solid line and it has a combination of new DNA, which is the dotted or broken line. So C is the correct answer. And lots of them, I'm going to close this. So let's see what's, so lots of us are saying that. So how do we interpret this? So correct, um, B. So total number, let's look at, go back. OK, so lots of them have given us, what's the incorrect answer for this? What's the, OK, sorry, let me ask this again. OK, so the correct answer here was C. Um, and lots of you are giving <coughs> the answer A, which was very incorrect, and D. Yeah. 